Hi everyone. Welcome to the House Mouse Collaboration hosted by Crafty Bean, who is Tina. Uh, formerly hosted by Gracie21, and I know she still watches and, and things and participates that way. So, um, we can do whatever we want as long as it's House Mouse. And I have a lot of House Mouse from before my Stampin' Up! days so and they weren't getting used so i wanted to join this collaboration so that i could use them you know sometime maybe this year and then if i'm done with them i'm done with them we'll see but um yeah i wanted to get some use out of them so anyway i'm enjoying it and i do use stampin up products as well as the house mouse so for those well never mind um anyway um let me show you what I did. I made two cards. I used this stamp set called Cling Spring Swing. It looks like crocuses to me. And the little mouse is hanging from a rope. And this is Mud Pie. And Mud Pie is apparently a brown mouse. But in one of them he's colored gray and in one he's colored brown. <laughs> because I checked it after I colored one of them. This See this says Mud Pie also. And this is Easter Egg Juggle. So there he is juggling three Easter eggs. And I did use for the sentiments I use on one of them, I used Happy Easter. And on the other one, I used Mice Wishes for a Cheery Day. So with that, um, let me flip them over and show you. Well, I'll do one at a time. This is the Easter one. I did use my Stampin' Blends to do all the coloring. I think that's the easiest way. Stampin' Blends are alcohol markers similar to your Copics or your Spectrum Noirs, but um, I only use the Stampin' Blends now because I find them a lot easier for personally because they come in a, um, what do they call them, so light and dark. So this is Pool Party. I used a lot of colors. I used Pool Party mint macaron flirty flamingo lovely lipstick pineapple punch calypso coral highland heather and i think pool party again light and dark on both uh, this is a piece of pool party cardstock which i ran through the stampin up corrugated 3d um uh, embossing folder but i ran it through without one of the shims and it because i only wanted a light ruffle or texture and that's what i got i got a very i don't even know if you can see it uh, there we go sort of looks striped it has a little bit of bump up but not as deep a texture as if you run it through with the other shim in it excuse me sorry about that i had to sneeze so anyway um this one is the easter one i did use the stampin up um one and three eighths inch i think it is scallop circle now the green one is a scalloped circle punch as well but it's not a stampin up product this is a stampin up background paper of lemon lime twist which is one of the in color 2017 19 colors that's going to be going away and these are actually granny apple green um and those came out of this um oops hang on this pack of um, glitter enamel dots, which actually is going to continue, and it's Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo, and Gorgeous Grape. And obviously I've been using them, but they are going to continue in the new catalog coming out in early June. Well, coming out in May, but effective June 4th. The inside of this one I just left blank to write a sentiment on, so I thought that one was cute, and that one's colored the right way in brown for mud pie <laughs> and then this one is the spring one but i didn't want to put happy spring because we're already into spring here in pennsylvania um definitely into april showers the last day or two and next couple days but um this is a piece of garden impressions uh designer series paper by stampin up which um is in the current annual catalog um, and it's still available while supplies last till the end of May um, or, you know, till the next catalog comes into play. Um, I use Light and Dark Daffodil Delight and Light and Dark Granny Apple Green 
this is a piece of retired um, celebration um, organ organdy ribbon in Daffodil Delight. And I stamped Mice Wishes on a piece. This is all on Whisper White. This is white, Whisper White Thick. This is regular Whisper White, as is this. And I stamped it in Granny Apple Green. I stamped Mice Wishes. And the dots on this one are from uh, Happiness Blooms, I think. Yes, Happiness Blooms enamel dots. And it's actually in Pineapple Punch, not Daffodil Delight, but I think it matched just fine. And so there, Mud Pie, poor little Mud Pie has changed colors and he's in gray. <laughs> I actually did this one first and then I checked a sheet I have and I realized it's supposed to be brown, but you know, their name's not written on my card, so it's okay. And on that one, I put for a cheery day on the inside. So mice wishes for a cheery day. So anybody that might need a little cheering up, I think that might, that might work for them, don't you? So those are my two projects for this week's collaboration. I mean, this month's collaboration. We go on the third Saturday of the month. Uh, and I plan on continuing till the end of this year anyway. And then I may stop because I will have used all the seasons of house mouse stamps that I have. And then we'll see what I do with them. There may be a sale early next year on those stamps. I don't know yet. Um, we'll see. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and um, come back and go see everyone else in the collab. Their links will be down below, and um, come back next month on the third Saturday. Uh, we post at noon Pacific time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern time, although I don't think people realize that, because all of them, because I'm seeing posts all throughout the day, so I don't know. That's what I was told, 12 p.m. Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So that's what I'm going with. And uh, so these will be up on Saturday the 20th at 3 p.m. Talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace.